Well, I guess I shouldn't be too surprised by this. You know, when reports came out that AAA, the wrestling promotion from Mexico, was going to do the Invading New York tour uh, this month, a lot of people assumed that they were going to do exactly the same thing that Ring of Honor did along with New Japan, and that's get inside legitimately get inside Madison Square Garden, the, the exact building that WWE has always been known to uh, fill and sell out. Like, pretty much they did a decent job, I guess you could say, this past week with Raw and SmackDown. But, but unfortunately, AAA wasn't able to do that. Now, they might still be able to do that, if not did do that tonight or whatever, but... No. No, they didn't because I looked I looked at the um, picture that was on Twitter of AAA, uh, an event involving AAA and, of course, Impact and all them. And, uh, well, I guess some Impact stars, Kill Across notwithstanding. But I'm thinking, okay, either that's the... I'm thinking either they're still in Mexico and we're seeing basically the rest of the venue where Impact was doing their tapings or they're someplace else. Well, I'll give credit to Jason Solomon, the Solomonster, doing his live broadcast, which he's doing right now um, as we speak. It's about um, 8.29 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, but anyway, he pointed out that, uh, he, point, he mentioned a, a situation. He basically was talking about Luke Harper returning tonight to help Eric Rowan. And that months ago, Luke Harper was basically trying to get out of his contract to go elsewhere, but Vince McMahon denied him. And he said it's very similar to what's going on with Killer Cross and Impact Wrestling. Killer Cross wants out of his contract to go elsewhere. Impact saying, no, that's not going to happen. And they even went as far as to make sure Killer Cross, who's been a mainstay for AAA uh, for quite some time, did not compete at the show at MSG. Now, the reason I bring this up, though, is because the show was not at, was not, well, it was at, it was at, at MSG. But not exactly. You see, I remember, I recall saying something when I talked about this. I think I talked about this a couple months ago. I said, do not be surprised if AAA or whatever promotions try try uh, uh, try to book Madison Square Garden. Don't be surprised if they get the theater known formerly as the Paramount Theater. And guess what? Guess what? Triple A ended up getting the Paramount Theater. Yeah. They didn't they did not succeed in booking the inside the actual garden like Ring of Honor did. No. They ended up getting the theater. Now, I don't know if this was a call on Madison Square Garden's part because maybe they heard about the fact that um, the only reason they sold out that show back earlier this year was because of the New Japan stars. I don't know what it was. But, yeah, apparently they got the Paramount Theater. Now, I don't know, again, if that was a move by MSG to say, Look, not a lot of people know you guys that well as they do the New Japan stars and the Ring of Honor stars, so let's just put you here for, you know, as a safe precaution. Or Triple A did that because they probably knew, probably felt the same way. Hey, I don't know. But it definitely is telling that if it wasn't Triple A's call to uh, book the theater at MSG to do the show, because they made a big deal out of this, and not legitimately be able to get the garden itself. And MSG was behind it, you know, getting them booked in the theater. Then that, that kind of is suspicious, in my opinion. That's kind of suspicious. 
It's suspicious because I think honestly, and I'm sure I'm not the only one that believes this, that when WWE booked Madison Square Garden for Raw and SmackDown this past week, that Vince McMahon and some of the higher-ups got in contact with them, probably found out about the AAA event during the booking of Madison Square Garden months ago and said, "Uh -uh. uh-uh, we allowed the Ring of Honor New Japan thing to happen, but the AAA thing, that's not going to fly. You can still have them here, but uh, uh, book them them at the theater. Yeah, that's, that's, that's more like it. That's more like it. So... I can't say that really happened, but I would not be surprised because it's kind of ironic when you think about it that a week, a less than a week after returning to Madison Square Garden, they, that another promotion comes around and instead of getting the garden as well, they get the theater. Makes you think, makes you wonder. You know, and if... And if WWE had something to do with MSG maybe being the ones to change things around, it makes you wonder if maybe WWE is going to make sure that no other promotion ever steps foot in Madison Square Garden ever again except for theirs. Makes you wonder. Makes you wonder. It makes you think. But I just thought I'd come on here and mention that real quickly in case you guys were wondering, okay, I know AAA was in... New York tonight or this weekend. I know they were, at M- they were at MSG. I wonder how well they did. Well, yeah, they were at MSG, the theater part of MSG, not the legit garden. But uh, I just thought I'd pass it along, see what your guys' thoughts are. Do you think maybe WWE had something to do with it? Do you think AAA probably realized that they weren't going to sell the garden? What, you, what is your thoughts? What's your thoughts? Let me know down below. Comment if you like. Talk to you all later.